Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing to the page if you enjoy this sort of content. What I have for you today is some microphone settings in OBS. I use Stream Elements OBS Live and I thought my USB microphone would be plug and play, but I found out that it was clipping significantly and I needed to adjust some things. And so I wanted to make a video of my settings here in hopes that it would provide either a template for you to build from or maybe help you right out the gate. So let's dive into it. First, you're gonna right click on speakers and open your sound settings. You'll go over to input and confirm that your microphone is selected. The one that you want to use at least is, is selected here and you see it showing on the equalizer. Then we're going to select device properties and adjust the volume here. So by default, mine was set at 100 and it was causing my microphone to clip significantly, even though I don't have a very loud voice. So I had to pull this volume down to 75 and that works well for me. You may even need to go lower depending on how loud your voice is. Next, we're going to hop into OBS and so Again, I'm using Stream Elements, OBS Live. And we're gonna go down to your microphone auxiliary equalizer and right click, select filters. And this is where we're gonna add some audio filters to help balance out the sounds. And so some benefits of doing this is gonna help cut out things like your keyboard and a fan maybe going in the background or someone talking like a family member in another room or if you have like an AC running, it'll cut out some of those background sounds and only focus on your voice. I'll, show you. I'll demonstrate them here by turning off the audio filters and letting you hear it. So now I've turned off the audio filters and you see that I'm clipping. And so I'm getting into the red here. And so generally you wanna to try to get to as close to the red without going over. And so if you stay in this range, you're usually okay. But now I'm clipping significantly if I stop talking, you can probably see the fan get picked up on the equalizer. So you see it getting picked up there. And then if I type on my keyboard, you could probably hear that being picked up on the microphone. So now when I turn these back on, I'll test it all again. So I was just typing on my keyboard and letting the fan run and you'll see that there's nothing being picked up. But that's the benefit of it. It helps to balance it out, especially if you have like a loud voice or your, your voice levels are changing quite a bit. This will help to kind of balance things well. out for you. And, it'll... and um, so we'll go over the settings here. You might want to just take screenshots of everything that way you could save it and then update them or just have this open in another window and you can match them that way. So for close threshold, I have mine at negative 25. Open threshold, I have at negative 18. Attack time at one. Hold time at 300. And the release time at 150. For the compressor ratio, I have at five. Threshold is at negative 21.8. Attack is at 1, release is at 100, and the output gain is at 4.20 or 4.2. This is one area, especially if you have a louder voice, you might not need as much output gain as I use, so you might want to adjust that first. I don't use anything for the sidechain ducking source. In a recent update to OBS, they added another option here for the noise suppression. I'm just using this one with lower CPU usage since I run a single PC setup where I'm streaming and gaming from the same PC. So I'm trying to use as least amount CPU usage as possible. And I have this set at negative 50. And that's it. Those are the settings I use for my microphone. And so I hope this helps you in your streaming recording journey. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. I try not to go into too much specific detail about why each setting 
uh, works the way it does, but hopefully you could use what I'm using here as a template and build from there. If you do have specific questions, I'd be glad to answer them later. And also I stream on YouTube, so if you ever want to drop into a stream and ask a question or hang out, uh, I'm usually streaming most days during the week around 7, 7.30 Eastern time. So thanks again for watching here, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Again, like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.